Really proud of our club. Obviously, it was a, you know, a do or die uh, day for us and uh, really proud of the way they came out. You, you could tell that our kids were really excited today and um, came out hot. Um, you know, it was tough after the rain delay for both teams. And um, I mean, how, how about Ben Hess, you know, sitting there for two hours, didn't even know if he was going to pitch today. And he comes out and punches out seven of the first eight guys. So uh, really proud of our team and uh, excited that we get to stick around for a little while. We'll get it right here. Questions for the players? It's the players first. Uh, ben, just talk, talk about the decision, when, or the moment when you realized you were going to pitch, and how did you get yourself ready during that? Yeah, so actually, uh, uh, two weeks ago, we were playing Auburn. Um, and it's kind of the same situation. Uh, rain delay, I was coming in. Um, and I, I treated it kind of like that. Um, you know, I get myself ready in the locker room. And it's, it's a bit of a, an abbreviated catch play. Um, so. I kind of know that going into it, get myself ready in the locker room. And um, from there, it's pretty much just treating it as a start. So I got some experience earlier in the year doing that. So that's basically what I did. Yeah, for both players, you guys got scheduled to play early this morning. What kind of steps did you take to get ready and bring the energy this morning at 9.30? Uh, you really just you know going to bed early, take some melatonin, and try and just get as much sleep as possible and waking up and just getting a good breakfast and trying to just come out hot. and kind of spark plugged the team and um, kind of came out hot and uh, that was able to give us the win, so. Yeah, I mean, we treat it like any other game pretty much. Uh, you know, once you get to the field, it's, it's kind of the same, no matter if it's eight in the morning or 10 o'clock at night, it's, it's all the same. It's just baseball pretty much. Um, this question's for Andrew. Andrew, how would you, how'd you feel you guys were able to get off to such a hot start today? Uh, you know, I just think we came out hot because we were just, you know, really excited to play. We know um, we got a win to, to keep our season alive, and uh, you can definitely see that in our, in our bats and um, in the way we um, took the field. So it was definitely really good to start out hot and um, be able to stay for a little while. Question for Andrew. I mean, what do you want to capture now that you get got Arkansas again coming up? What do you want to capture from this past weekend uh, heading into this, this matchup this week? Um, really just taking it a pitch at a time. Um, every game, we just treat it the same way and um, just come out with good at-bats and good energy and um, not try and do too much, and the results will take care of itself. Uh, Andrew, just talk about that heads-up base running play back in the first inning at third base, pop up to the third base side, and you had the presence of mind to tag up on that. Walk me through uh, what was going through your mind in that moment. Um, well, it was less than two outs, and um, anything in the air, I'm just tagging automatically. And um, I'm not looking at the play Coach Bo is, so he's telling me uh, score, score, score. So I just took off, and it worked out. For both of y'all, but I guess start with Andrew, what goes on in two hours and seven minutes when you guys are just waiting to play? Like, what, what's going on in the locker room? Like, time to take us through that. Yeah, uh, definitely a lot of snacks, a lot of just talking with the guys. I try not, try not to you know, get on my phone at all. Just try and, I don't know, chop it up with the boys and just have a good time. Yeah, we got some Jimmy John's, so that was nice. <laughs> yeah. Anything else for the players? I think we got them all, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys can step down. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, questions now for the head coach. Uh, coach, how were you able to keep your team like within the game and ready to go through those through the two-hour rain delay today? Yeah, you know, the players deserve all the credit. I, I really didn't do anything, and you know, when you get this deep into the season, you, you've had some of these experiences. We've actually had a pretty good weather spring um, from a precipitation standpoint, but the kids deserve all the credit. Um, I really feel like after the, the Friday game at Arkansas, you could just feel a different level of looseness within our team. And, and what do you know? You're seeing some better production, especially offensively. So, um, you know, these kids like to play. They really like each other. Like, they really like playing the game of baseball. So, um, you know, they didn't need any pep talk. I ran out of those about three or four weeks ago. We talked yesterday. You said in order to make a run in this tournament, somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's out of the bullpen, at the plate. Ben Hess, obviously, stepped into that position today, struck out 10. Uh, you know, what, how big was his performance in that spot right off to the rain delay to kind of finish this thing off and put your team in a good position to win? Well, it was huge. It's really the story of the game. And, 
you know, if you look over the last 10 or 15 years, there's been a lot of really talented freshmen come to this tournament, and people are like, oh, wow, who is that guy, you know? And I think that was kind of Ben's moment today. And, you know, he's somebody that we've been really high on from day one. He had a non-throwing injury over Christmas break. He got started a little bit later with the season. And, um, you know, I think if all that had not happened, he would have a lot more innings and maybe would, would have moved his way into a weekend starter role. So I'm not surprised that he pitched so well. You just never know when you put a freshman in this environment how they're going to respond. And I think it says a lot about the competitor that he is, that he was his best today. In front. Considering you're facing Arkansas again in, you know, for, I think, the fourth time in less than a week, I mean, how do you approach that? You know, we just go play. Arkansas is a great team. You know, they didn't play their best at our place. Um, they're one of the best teams in the league. And, you know, you, you get in the SEC tournament, and the, the deeper you go into the week, the, you know, the better the teams are. I mean, everybody you play is going to be really good. So some of the teams have different strengths and weaknesses. But, um, you know, at this point, we just, just got to go play. You mentioned your team being loose, but during that uh, – that break, that, that, that delay, you know, we saw Will uh, play catch with the fans. We saw a couple of players sign autographs. Just uh, how much are, do you feel like your team's enjoying being here and how important is it with it being in Hoover, you know, kind of playing in front of the fans and, and going out like that? Yeah, you know, I, I brag on this group a lot. We just have awesome kids from great families. So, you know, when I see a, a video on social media, Will Portero playing catch with a little kid, or, you know, I see some of our players just talking to random little kids outside the dugout. I'm not surprised. We just got really high character kids in our program and, and really proud of them for that. So, um, you know, I've talked about this a couple of times. Every time I see a foul ball hit down one of the lines and I see little kids, you know, rolling down the hill or chasing after it, I'm like, one of those guys is my second baseman in 2032 or something, because right. we have several kids on our team that were that little boy doing that several years ago. So um, I, I'm not surprised that, you know, last year and to this point that we've played really well because I do think when you have so many kids that grew up in the stands here that maybe, you know, it does, you know, mean a little bit more to them. Are you in the front? Hey, Coach. Um, you know, with today's win, you've obviously extended your week through at least Thursday. How advantageous is it now to have your, your Friday starter, Garrett McMillan, having only pitched two innings, you know, moving forward and where every game means a lot this week? Yeah, to play um, two or three or four more games or whatever it could be, you're going to have to have some more pitchers step up like Ben Hess did today. And, um, you know, I would uh, certainly assume that Garrett McMillan could bounce back, you know, and, and maybe he throws in relief and maybe it's, it's not a start and you're getting five or six innings. But um, I would not be surprised to see him pitch again on Thursday or Friday in, in relief. And, you know, we would like to, you know, let's get to the park tomorrow, see how he feels and, and that kind of thing. But... Um, it is nice knowing that, that he might be available because he's obviously one of our best guys. Do you have a plan on the pitching rotation for tomorrow? Yeah, I'd like to just give a Coach Jackson before I announce anything, but that, there's a good chance it'll be Jacob McNary. Anything else for the head coach? Got one more, Coach. Hey, Coach, a little bit off topic, but you saw the exchange between Coach Saban and Fisher in football. How is the relationship between your head guys in, in, uh, in baseball here in the SEC? How would you characterize the relationship between coaches here? In my opinion, there's just a tremendous amount of mutual respect. You know, you don't typically get these opportunities, much less get to stick around very long if you're not really good at a lot of things. And, um, you know, not just the, the teams and the players, but there's a lot of great coaches in this conference. So, uh, you know, I've been fortunate that – you know, when I came up through this league as an assistant, that a lot of the, the guys that are currently head coaches treated me with a lot of respect. And, um, uh, you know, so I think there's just a lot of guys that are really talented and really good at what they do. And um, I'd be surprised if you saw any kind of banter like that, you know, within our group. It, it won't be for me.